Hello beautiful souls, it's Darcha Tarot. Welcome, I hope you enjoy my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment if you enjoy my content. Um, I'm doing a special offer right now, just £14 for a personal reading about any subject until the end of February. So the links for that are down below in my email, just email me there and my PayPal link. Check out my deck shop, check out my Patreon, just $5 a month. And you can get a free reading that way as well from me once you join that. So today I'm just going to be doing a daily tarot message. So I felt guided to do this. So really tapping in at what you need to know right now, okay? So I'm using a deck I haven't used before. It's the Tarot for Vol by Victoria Francis. I've got an oracle deck of hers, quite gothic, quite dark energy. Uh, well, not energies, but dark images. Not dark energies. So for the highest light and love of the collective, what do they need to know right now? What do they need to know right now? So we're tapping into that new moon energy. We just had that new moon in Pisces. So Pisces is, you know, one of the water signs, one about our emotions, our deep feelings. Could be hidden, you know, deep within us. So for the highest light and love, what does the collective need to know right now? What does the collective need to know? So we've got the, this is the um, page of wands, page of wands energy, justice, the devil, oh my goodness, <laughs> that's say, and the king of wands energy, it's going a bit deep, let's go, going a bit closer. So we've got Page of Wands with Justice, with the Devil and the King of Wands. So you could be connected to somebody. It could be some sort of message from somebody that you're connected to. Could have a codependent element to it here. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is the Page of Wands there? We got three of coins, temperance, seven of coins, and the ten of swords, ten of air. So we've got the page of wands. We've got a message. Somebody wants to reach out, I feel, to collaborate with you with that Three of Coins energy. Uh, they want to build something with you. This could be in the workplace, but I feel it could be in a love situation. And we've got justice with the bal temperance, the balance there. So balance is coming to this connection. And there's devil energy here, clarified by the Seven of Coins. And the Seven of Coins is normally, you know, sowing those seeds, building something. So we're going to go a bit deeper. And then we've got the King of King of Wands, clarified by the Ten of Swords, Ten of Air. So the Ten of Swords is that stabbed in the back energy, um, you know, depression, worry, anxiety. Okay, so this could be you. I feel it's this person that you could be connected with. Okay, this could be this person. So let's go a bit deeper. Why is the Page of Wands now? So we've got the Seven of Swords. So some sort of deception around this, okay? Some sort of deception. And we've got the Queen of Cross, the Queen of Coins. So Earth Sign Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this could be you, or this could be around another person. And we've got the Justice Energy here. So we've got the Eight of Wands. So it does look like there's communication coming in. There's fast-moving communication coming in. So why is the devil there? I'm 
I've got the hangman energy. So I feel this is somebody you're connecting with. I feel they're in that energy. Um, it's stuck energy. It could be between you both. There's stuck energy. There's a lack of movement. There's like a pause. Somebody's looking at things from a different perspective. We've got the nine of wands. So I feel there's no giving up on this. You know, this is uh, norm the normal image is like the the nine of wands and the the person in the image has one wand and I always see that as somebody not giving up okay not wanting to give up on a situation and we've got the knave we've got the page of coins so I feel there's something there's a new offer there's a new communication coming in we saw that with the eight of wands as well there's some message coming towards you and we've got the King of Masks. This is somebody in the image. You can see this person has taken off their mask. And we did have that Seven of Swords. Okay, so I feel somebody wasn't being honest about the way they felt about you. Okay, um, there was something hidden around this connection. And they've taken their mask off. They've been through that Ten of Swords, Dark Knight of the Soul, Depression, Worry, Anxiety. But the Ten is the end. Okay, they're coming to the end of that. Wow. And we've got the Empress energy here. So I feel they see you as their Empress, okay? I feel they do see you as their Divine Feminine. And maybe they denied that. But also I feel they're in touch with their Feminine aspect. I feel they're getting more in touch with their Feminine side. You know, their more nurturing, loving side. And there is that Three of Coins, like wanting to collaborate. Wow, we've got the Star energy. So I feel that there's been healing needed from both of you and the stories are talking about wish fulfillment, okay? And I feel this person wants to create that with you. They see you as their empress. There's balance coming in. They've taken off their mask. Yeah, we've got the three of roses, which is the three of cups. And that talks about reunion, okay? And for some, it could mean there was a third party element, but I feel that this is coming to an end or has come to an end because we've got that Ten of Swords there and we've got the Nine of Wands. Why is the Three of Roses there? Yeah, we've got Seven of Roses. So I feel there was confusion. This person had confusion around it, but we've got the Sun energy. Okay, so they're, they're feeling much happier in themselves. They want to bring the sun, the joy back to this connection. So why is the seven of coins there? Yeah, we've got knight of swords, knight of air. Um, so that's fast moving energy. That to me feels like this person wants to come forward and speak their truth to you. Okay, this person wants to come forward and speak their truth. And they're coming out of that depression, that anxiety, whatever that was for them, um, with that ten of butterflies. Okay, there's been deception. Okay, but this person is taking off the mask and they want to come forward. Yeah, ten of wands as well. So, yeah, they've been through a lot. You could have both been through a lot, okay. And the tens of the end, coming to the end of that cycle, coming out of that, feeling burdened, having too much on your plate, depression, anxiety, worry, coming out of that phase. Yeah, four of uh, cups, four of roses, uh, a lost opportunity, feeling that they missed out, feeling that they lost an opportunity. Wow, and we got the two of roses. So feeling that love, still wanting to connect, and I feel it's mutual, it's mutual energy here. And we've got the Three of Swords reversed. So yeah, there was heartbreak, okay? You both went through a heartbreak, a breakup here. And we've got the Queen of Mars here, the Queen of Wands. So you're a match, you've got the King and Queen of Wands. Uh, you could be a fire sign as well, Aries, Lee, Sagittarius, but you're in that energy of somebody that's very passionate, very attractive, you're attracting a lot of attention. You're somebody that, you know, this person now sees as a match, as a, as a person. Yeah, we've got six of coins. So it's come six of crosses, six of coins. It's coming into balance. I feel that you're both balanced. Okay, you've both been doing that healing work. 
and you see each other as a wish fulfillment. Wow, we got the lovers. So yeah, that's soulmate energy to me. That's always about someone you're destined to be with. And I feel this person is seeing that now. Okay, is really feeling that now. Anything else about that? Anything else about that? Yeah, we've got the Knight of Crosses, Knight of Coins. So it's slow-moving energy. Some of you, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or there's an Earth fire mix here. But it's been slow-moving energy. You could have been apart for some time, okay, from this person. But they wanted to come forward with a solid offer. And we can see that with a page of wands, a page of coins. And, you know, they're taking away that mask. They want to be open and honest with you about how they're feeling. Yeah, we've got nine of roses. So wish fulfillment. I feel this is mutual. You both see each other as a wish fulfillment. And we've got the strength card. So this is a very strong connection. I feel, you know, even in your time apart, you still feel each other. You've been connected. And we've got the emperor. So, I mean, I can't say any clearer than that. Wow. I mean, this is, you know, this is your divine partner. This is your divine counterpart. You know, we got the Emperor and the Empress. I didn't expect that to come out today. Okay. Wow. And we got the Ten of Cups. So they want a loving relationship with you. They want to build something solid here. They want to build a relationship here. They want to have that loving relationship with you. And, you know, they're going to reach out, I feel. They're going to reach out. Yeah, we've got Knight of Cups, Knight of Flowers. So, again, you know, this is that romantic, somebody being romantic, somebody being passionate, um, fun. You know, they want to reach out in that energy towards you. Let's get some final messages from my oracle deck. What else do you need to know right now? Yeah, you have free will. So if this person comes towards you and you know you don't want to accept this offer. You have free will, it's your, it's your choice at the end of the day. But success is on the way, whatever form that could be for you, okay? Yeah, you're stronger than you think. You know, you've been through a lot. I feel both of you, this connection is very strong. We've got overflow of emotions, so it could be a very emotional reunion. We've got to awaken. So I feel, you know, this person or you have awakened to what this truly is. We've got something unexpected. And you are protected. Your guides and angels want you to know you're protected. And good news on the way here. Wow. And new love. So, yeah, I mean, it's confirming that. So obviously take what resonates for you. But it does look like this is a connection where you've been in separation. You know, there's not been any communication. And this person has had an awakening that you were connected to and realised that they have feelings for you and they are going to come forward and express that to you. So I'm going to leave that there. I haven't got any timings, but within the next few weeks, I would say. Anyway, sending you love and blessings. Take care.